What's up guys, welcome to a brand new YouTube video and today I'm giving you the protein pancake recipe. If you've been following my Instagram or my other videos, I've uh, gave teasers of it, I've been working on it to perfect it, make a simple and delicious protein pancake recipe that you guys can easily do at home. This is my go-to protein pancake recipe. So, what you're going to need, this is all you're going to need right in front of you. You're going to need five total eggs some all-purpose flour, vanilla extract, salt, just a little bit, baking powder, cinnamon, water, protein powder, and then a bowl and a whisk uh, to mix it all up. That's all you're gonna need. All right, we're gonna start out by mixing our dry ingredients, um, and we're gonna need a food scale for this. We're going to put in 70 grams of all-purpose flour. So there's 26. You can use really whatever flour, it's not a huge deal. I just went with all purpose for the simplicity, like most people will have this. Okay, we went a tad over 74, but close enough. Next up, we're going to put one scoop of whey protein powder. I'm going with vanilla from the gold standard Optimum Nutrition, but you can do whatever flavor. This will be the most strong flavor in the pancake, so choose your flavor wisely. Now we're gonna go in with a teaspoon of cinnamon. Um, we can kind of have this rounded because it's not too many calories. So that's about good. Now we're gonna do a half teaspoon of salt. So just winging it again, pretty close. Now we're gonna go in with a teaspoon of baking powder. This is one of the ingredients that makes it really rise up, the baking powder, so one teaspoon. All right, so we've got our dry ingredients all in this little bowl ready to go. And now we're gonna take our wet ingredients, our vanilla extract, our water, and our eggs, and put them into play. So we're gonna take another little bowl, and we're gonna have one egg cracked into here. So I like to crack it on the table so it's a flat crack and then you break it apart. One egg into here and then you're just going to simply whisk this up with a fork just to get it roughly whisked um, about in here. Just about until it looks like this, that consistency, then you're good to go. Now we're gonna take our big mixing bowl and we're gonna put four of the egg whites in. So you'll crack it and then you'll break it open and you'll kind of pass it, pass the yolk back and forth and try to just get the, all the egg white poured out into the bowl. Now you just do these for the other three eggs. So now you've got your egg whites in this bowl, the big mixing bowl where we're gonna put everything eventually, and you're gonna leave that. You're gonna take a small little bowl, and we're going to put one teaspoon of uh, pure vanilla extract, or pure vanilla, whatever you wanna do. Uh, so we're gonna take one teaspoon. This is gonna add even more vanilla flavor, so my pancakes today are gonna be very vanilla-y. Now I'm almost out of this bottle. There's about one teaspoon. I'm just gonna use the rest of it too. Might as well, because there's like hardly anything else in there. And then you're also going to pour the one ounce of water. This is one ounce of water into this little bowl. And you're just gonna let that stay in there for later use. Now here comes the important part. I told you would need a whisk. Now you need a whisk if you do it by hand or you can do like a hand cranking whisk that makes it go a little faster or even a powered whisk to make these egg whites turn nice and fluffy. This is the key to the recipe. We're gonna really beat these egg whites to the point where they become nice, white, and fluffy. Um, so that's gonna make the pancakes more fluffy. So 
I'm gonna use this crank one uh, just because it's I think easier than having to clean the other stuff um, and make it all fluffy. So you're going to beat your eggs until they look something like this where it's basically just a foam and that's what you want. Beat your egg weights until it's just a foam like this. Now we're going to take all of our other ingredients, we're going to put our wet in first and just dump it into the one mixing bowl. So take our one whole egg, our water and vanilla extract. then all of our dry ingredients. And we're going to fold them in using like a little spatula. So you go up, you just go around the edges, fold it in. This is key, you're not mixing it. You wanna have this fluffy airiness. So take it, fold in. So fold, come around the edge, lift it over the top. Come around the edge, lift it over the top. And you're gonna fold until it looks something like this. Don't mix, fold so there gets more air in it. If you mix it, it's just gonna take all the fluffiness out of it. Next up, you're gonna to wanna to come over, get a pan and a spatula, and you're gonna turn the heat onto medium or a little bit above, just like so, and wait for the pan to warm up. Oh, and do not touch the pancake batter anymore now. Don't even look at it, okay? Just leave it how it is until the pan is ripe and ready. So this is how you know your pan is ready. If you come over and you get some water on your hands and you splash it on the pan, if it sizzles like this, it's hot enough. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn the heat down to medium now, and you're gonna grab your nonstick spray, give it a nice little spray around. I am always generous because I don't like having a pancake stick to it. And then we're gonna go ahead and put our pancake batter about half of it into the pan. Just let it kind of go in and do its thing. Oh, there is the egg. So now we're gonna let that pancake cook and I just wanna note something. So if you notice when I poured that pancake batter in, the one egg did not mix around very well. So what I should have done is had the dry ingredients in a big bowl, then I put my wet ingredients and then I put my egg whites and fold it in like that. That way the egg would have absorbed into the dry ingredients and not been like that so it might have a little edge that's kind of eggy but it'll still taste delicious so I will get back to you with a tip to know when the pancake is ready. Alright so you know the pancake is ready when these bubbles in the middle when they pop. Alright the bubbles have started to pop so I'm going to flip it. Oh yeah a perfect flip. All right, the pancake has been made. It is looking absolutely delicious, and it, I, I have to give you a bite. I topped it up with my peanut butter on both pancakes and then some frozen berries that were warmed up and put on top, and then their juices kind of drizzle all over. This is my preferred way to eat them. Um, so I'll give you a bite. Oh yeah. This made two about like seven inch pancakes, roughly. Let's give this thing a bite quick. Mm -hmm. All right, so that is the pancakes all made. Let's give you guys the calories and macros. Now this made two about seven inch pancakes. It came up to 512 calories, 54.1 grams of protein, six grams of fat, and then 60.4 grams of carbs. Just for the pancakes, not include my toppings because you can top them with whatever you want. But pretty darn delicious and simple. I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Um, and if you have any other recipe ideas or meals that you want to see me make or put my own spin on, leave them down below in the comments. But if I, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, drop a like as well as subscribing. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.